Hi, welcome back to English with Matt with me, Matt. And today we're going to talk about phrasal verbs with the letter A. Now, this is just part one on this little series I'm trying to start. And if you like, you can give us a comment or a like at the end of the video, then I'll try to do a part two. Okay? So, the first thing we're going to talk about is what is a phrasal verb? Well, a phrasal verb is when you take a verb and a preposition and you put them together to make a new blend with a totally new meaning, okay? So, like, I go to the beach. This is an easy one. Go to is the phrasal verb. You can come with me. Come with is the phrasal verb. He left behind his coat. Left behind is the phrasal verb. She moved over her bag. Okay. It played with the ball. We ran up the hill. They talked out the problem. Okay. Now these are a little bit easy here, but these are just to give you an idea of what a phrasal verb is. Now, a phrasal verb can be in the past, the present, the future, or the continuous ing form, okay? Easy one here to show you is with go. I go to the beach, she goes to the beach. I went to the beach yesterday, you went to the beach yesterday. I will go to the beach tomorrow. We will go to the beach tomorrow. They are going to the beach. Okay, so it can be used in any form there. Okay. Now, the importance of a phrasal verb, this is something I thought about for me personally, in my opinion. And in speaking, I rated some of these phrasal verbs from one to five stars. So if I gave it one star, I find it less important. You know, uh, two stars, uh, three important, so you should know it. Four, very important, and five. This is one that I've hear a lot as a native speaker. Okay, but if you just want to do this for writing, grammar, and reading, all of these are very important. Okay, so. You make a choice here about which ones you want to focus on in speaking or in your writing grammar, and you go from there. Okay, so the first one too is according to, and I put this one with three stars. So according to, when you give information from a source, and it can be good information or it can be bad information, okay? So according to the weather report, it will rain tomorrow. Okay, we get that information from the TV, and we don't know for sure. Sometimes it's true, sometimes it's not true. Okay, next one here, account for. And I gave this one two stars. When you explain something or you give the information about it or the cause of something, okay? Like last year, coronavirus accounted for many deaths in 2020. Okay, so coronavirus accounted for many deaths in 2020. Okay. Act as. Now this I just gave one stars because one star because I don't personally use this one that much when speaking or writing. When you do something because you have the knowledge. Okay, like she will act as my lawyer in court. Me personally, I would just say she will be my lawyer in court or she is my lawyer. You know, this is how I would do it personally. I wouldn't say act as. Act on. Okay, now this is when you should do something that is for the best of you, okay? You should act on your teacher's advice and study, okay? 
it's going to give you something good out of it if you make this choice. Act like. Now this one's very important. I gave it five stars. So when you behave differently than normal, okay, something's not woohoo. So that 40 year old man is acting like a child. We would say this isn't normal. Or a small, that's the small boy acts like an adult. It's not normal. You know, kids are supposed to be kids adults adults and if they switch it's not normal act up now this one i gave four stars so it's important too when someone something is not doing being or working good okay so like my computer is acting up okay the little boy was acting up in school Okay, and this means he wasn't doing good in school and for like the computer it wasn't working good. Maybe it was slow. And then so then back to the little boy here, like if the little boy was acting up, his teacher gets angry. So the teacher calls his parents and then his parents get angry and yeah, problem. <laughs> Next one here, add on to. Three stars, I gave this one. When you have something you need to do or a situation, and it can be good or bad, okay? So like this week is terrible for me. My car is broken down and add on to that, my mother is in the hospital. So it's like one bad thing after the other keeps going on. Or it can be a good thing, like this week I won the lottery and then I got a promotion at work or, you know, something good just keeps adding on to it, okay? Next one we have here, add up. Now this one's very important, okay? When you don't believe something you are told, Okay. His story of a flying pig doesn't add up. You know, we know that pigs can't fly. So when somebody tells us something so bizarre and extreme and strange, and we're like, what? It's, we say it doesn't add up. It's impossible. Okay. Next one, add up up to. Now this one I gave four stars. In math when you plus numbers together, so one plus three adds up to four. Simple. <laughs> okay now here is some practice and I want you to leave a comment of your answers and then I'll go through and I'll check it, okay, to see how you did. Or if you get anything wrong, I'll message, reply back to you and let you know what you need, what we, you could work on here. And if you get anything, anything right, good for you, okay? So I'm going to leave you here and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.